Okay, we should be live. Hello everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fairy Tale on the PS4 with the redo of episode 17. Because for those who did show up for my stream on Thursday, I made it about 20-25 minutes and then my computer just decided to give out on me. So I had to cancel and delete Thursday's stream. But luckily it was only about, you know, 20-25 minutes. So I had another save file, which we're going to boot up right away. Although I did get a trophy on that stream, which I can't show the trophy pop in this stream. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to go through that. Uh, we got like a boss fight and then a bunch of cutscenes, and then <laughs> And then the game halts before we can fight the final, final bosses. Oh, we got to do some side quests and other missions and whatnot. So, of course... Um, yeah, you see the autosave, we have the final chapter, but we're still in chapter 8, Allegria. So we'll boot that up and, and see what's going on there. How's it going, V Scorpio? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? And yeah, well, we left off with, um, Tuesday's stream, I guess. I gotta, I gotta think, think back to then. All our heroes were defeated by Mardigir Tartaros of his Allegria curse. So it's up to Lucy to save the day. And we gotta go in here and uh, get ready for battle. And how's it going, Cyrus? How's it going, Sarah? Welcome. Oh, it's Jackal again. Hey, back time. We're gonna kick your ass, bro. It's boss time. The nine demon gates, Jackal. How's it going, Dragon Slayer? Yeah, right stuff. I think effective October 10th is no longer going to exist. Bought out by Crunchyroll. Now, I will give you a name Robert's Anime Corner. That's a good website to check out. It's, it's very, like, 2000s <laughs> style website layout. But it's good. That's your alternative to write stuff if you don't want to use Crunchyroll. Robert's Anime Corner. But anyway, Lucy is going to rescue her friends and defeat this son of a bitch jackal. Oh, the hiccups, Sarah? What a, what a nightmare. The hiccups are the worst. There's like all sorts of tricks to that. You have to, you have to drink water really fast or... Um, I don't know. There's <laughs> there's something to get rid of it. <laughs> but what a pain in the ass hiccups are. But yeah, I have a few announcements to make later on in the stream. I'm just going to get through this. There's some cutscenes. And uh, lots of good stuff in the works, let me tell you. But I was talking about this mainly on Tuesday's stream. And this game has such a weird difficulty spike in that you'll have five party members in, in your group, right? And you're, you're beating the weak enemies no problem. But then you'll have the boss fights. This one's very easy because water is effective against his fire attribute. But other times, like you saw me with, with Natsu, I died three or four times in a row. And again, I am playing on hard difficulty, but that's just because the random encounters are so easy and these boss fights are a pain in the ass. But what can you do? Alright, so Jackal's done, but naturally he'll probably have a second phase. What now? Fell for it? Oh no! Someone Aquarius, that's what we use to defeat you. And yep, we get a cutscene here. Which again, I know I've, I've constantly compared and contrasted things from the manga and the anime, but... This scene in the anime is, is so good, and then it just oh, goes by so fast in this game here. 
and I don't really have a blind reaction because like I said I I did this on Thursday but I had to delete that stream <laughs> because my computer crashed on me like 20-25 minutes in yeah we gotta summon the celestial spirit king to save the world and in doing so sacrifice Aquarius まで甘えているんだ。思えないなんて嫌。大事なのは思い出か。鍵か。罪悪感か。違うだろう。仲間を救う力だ。精霊魔導士としての力だ。私の初めての友達。やるんだ。私の鍵を壊せ。私。アク
Which I think is a water attack. Yeah, good luck, bro. Alright. So, oh my god, what's up, Play Casket Plot Twist? Oh, you finally show up for a live stream. What did I, I guilt trip you into that? <laughs> what's up, man? Paraka, my buddy. Uh, Alright, so let's see. Cyrus is saying Jackal, more like Jack Hole. Insert big yikes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like joking from how bad that joke was. <laughs> this game loves to force you to use one character. Yeah, we were talking about that, how, you know, the game's easy as fuck, but then you have the boss fights where it's one-on-one. -on -one. And I get in the anime, you know, these guys, they all split up because there's the nine demon gates of Tartaros. You got the nine fairy tale members. This one fights that one. This one fights the other one, et cetera, et cetera. But, you know. Saw that Monster Hunter Rise was on sale for 15 and picked it up. Hopefully you can get some friends together to play later. Nice. Hey, that's not what Lucy was wearing. Immersion ruin. Oh, let's let's get to this uh, shot. There you go. <laughs> we'll show you that while I read these comments. <laughs> Good old Vic. Yeah, our, our friend Vic Mignana. That's some impressive nose hairs. <laughs> Plot twist. I shall smite the epic. What's up, Komanga? Bobobo would be jealous of the Spirit King's nose hairs. He sure would be. And Dad outfit <laughs> though. No, we're just waiting for Ghost to get on, and I have been on a few of yours this week. Just let it idle on the phone as I do stuff. Oh, so you're, you're a lurker. You don't, uh, you put the stream on and just listen. I gotcha. I appreciate it. And I see we have, like, five people watching, only three likes. Can you please smash the hell out of the like button while you're here? And, yeah, so we're kicking some ass here. Gotta love it. Now, the only thing with this guy is if you attack him with his curse magic, he can revert the attack right back at you. But we can just heal through it. And I think this fight is supposed to be easy because she got her, her power up. So it's like, you know, she's going to kick his ass. But anyway... Holy shit, now we have seven likes? <laughs> How is this even possible? It says concurrent viewers, five viewers, seven likes. What the hell? <laughs> what is even going on? Now it says we have seven viewers. Oh my god. Well, I appreciate it. The, I don't, did the likes even do anything? Like, honestly. It, it makes me feel good is what it does. I do think... I think it's ma mainly based on watch time. Like, the more watch time you have... And the likes might factor into if things get recommended or not, but who even knows? By the way, I did my uh, my sensitivity training or whatever to get my warning removed. And, and this is a warning I've had on the channel since 2021. <laughs> I can't say why, but just know that I have it. And I did my, my training, <laughs> my community guidelines training. And my warning, if I'm a good boy, which I have been a good boy for some time, will finally be removed on, I think, December 22nd. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank goodness. Is he still alive? Alright, one more attack. There <laughs> There's a bunch of memes of Lucy. I love how that with the animation, watch this right here, right? When she jumps in the air. <laughs> There's a bunch of memes of her doing that attack and like killing Goku or something. <laughs> it's like, Lucy's more powerful than Goku. Which, uh, no. But, uh, it's, it's still funny to say, right? Oh, Lucy, kick him now. Oh, yeah. Fight and save your friends. Oh, damn. Now we got Virgo and Leo. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, use Gemini, get the other Lucy out there. Again, you'll have to take my word for it. This is much better than the anime. Trust me, bro. 
But it's whatever. Alright, he's done. That is my favorite move in the whole game. Come on now. Oh yeah. Give the cameraman a raise yet again. <laughs> oh, back to the Celestial King. Well, listen to this. He's going ham here. Oh, hell yeah. Galaxia Blado. Yeah, bro. We gotta defeat you at all costs. What, what emoji is that that you guys are doing? Is that the shocked face? <laughs> and with that, all our friends are free. We got Natsu. And, uh, who else? Elfman, Lasana, and Mira Jane. Yeah. We stopped Elegria. Oh, my bite too fast, but I read it. You, you can read it, too. <laughs> Now, I think at this point, the trophy would pop, and it's the story-related trophy. So, but we got that on Thursday. Now, another thing I'll just say right here... Um, after the fight with Jackal, you know, Lucy's all tired, naturally. But there's still a bunch of other members of Tartaros running around. And a couple who aren't even in this game, I don't think. There's Tempester, uh, Keys, and Turafuzar. And they're not even in this game. And what happens is I think Turafuzar attacks, then Gajil shows up. Then Tempester shows up, not to come comes to the rescue. Keys and Juvia, and then Silver and Grey. And here we have these randos, like, well, who the fuck are these guys? And then Natsu saves the day, so, I don't know. <laughs> Just the fact that I've watched and read the series, I felt I, I should make note of that. And again, Natsu looks so strange about his scarf. And Urza. Yeah, because Urza is still fighting Kyoka. <laughs> But what happens here is you got to go back to the guild because it's like before the final boss, so just do all the side quests you haven't done yet. <laughs> so that that's why I guess. <laughs> all right, so we saved the day, and uh, oh, that's Minerva. Yeah, she's still around. So we gotta fight her. So yeah, I think the only ones left, we have Minerva, we have Kyoka, and then Mardgear. Because, we, well, yeah, Silver, too. We haven't fought Silver. So that's that. And the end of Chapter 8, Episode 4. So, and then it says the final chapter, which I guess is chapter 9. But I think there's also an, an epilogue in this game. Yeah, so final chapter, The Wings of Hope and Despair. Can you feel it? The despair. Who said that? Oh, that was, um, <laughs> that was Weissman <laughs> from Trails of the Sky second chapter. <laughs> what a deep cut. How's it going, Donnie? Welcome to the stream, man. How are you doing? Oh yeah, Wendy, she um 
She was with Carla and she fought Azel. And they thought that uh, she had sacrificed herself, but no, she was rescued. She was rescued by the the jobber with no voice actor. Which again, you'll say. Yeah, Dormbolt. <laughs> no voice actor. Thanks to you, it never went off. We were saved by the last minute, at the last minute by, uh, you know, the jobber with no voice actor and no character. Just, uh, some dialogue. Whatever, I'm being too harsh, aren't I? <laughs> um, I came here to tell you that it's not over yet. What is it? Oh my god, look at all those faces! If it was that much of a struggle to destroy one of them, imagine destroying all these. It's so over! No, Carla, we are so back. Alright, so, uh, Dragon Force, okay, we have Dragon Force for Wendy now. Good. And, <laughs> with all imminent threats awaiting, go do side quests, kids! Alright. So with that, we got Final Chapter Episode 1, A DEMON! Cube crumbles with just one attack from the Celestial Spirit King, but the leaders of the Nine Demon Gates still live. Defeat the Nine Demon Gates and the Underworld King, Marred Gear, and bring this battle to an end. It's time to settle the score of Tauros, but before that, do some side quests. Okay, uh, now we're going to obviously put Lucy back there, and then with the team, we will put in... Who should we even put in? Let's put it, you know what? Let's put in Ichia <laughs> and let's put in Kagura. Is that all we can put in? Yeah. Yeah, because we don't have Wendy or who who else are we missing? We're just missing Wendy? We don't we don't have Mirror Jane. Now we can do a bunch of side quests and we can also recruit Jalal. And oh uh, you can't recruit Mira, but you can recruit Jalal. So we'll do that. But first, let me read some comments now that everyone has uh, been chatting away and we have some cutscenes. So let me scroll up a little bit. And yeah, boosting, boosting the algorithm. And thanks for liking the, the video. Uh, Play Casket says likes are adjusted for what is suggested to others if they're subbed. Okay. You, yeah, I completed my... <laughs> my... My... Uh, my YouTube sensitivity training, come on, guys, sure did. Kevin's favorite move of the whole game. You better believe it, Cyrus. Now, that's the other thing, too. So, after that, we saw Lucy in the Aquarius outfit, right, for that battle. And I checked during Thursday's stream, but you can't change her into that outfit. You, you only have this, her, her default outfit, and then if you buy the DLC. So, how come there's no Aquarius costume to change into? What if I want to run around in that? Unbelievable. Draken, while WWE has let go of a crap ton of wrestlers of the other with the new owners, I wonder if they'll stick this time. Also, screw Matt Riddle, his RKO is the worst. Yeah, you know what really pissed me off, Draken? They got rid of Dolph Ziggler. Like, dude, Dolph Ziggler is one of my favorite wrestlers. And he was a legend. I still remember when he did when he cashed in money in the bank. Oh man, that was great. And he was always around, always like Intercontinental Champion, always in the upper mid card. Great wrestler, great dude. I loved, like, his whole look, the, the long blonde hair. Like, what a legend. A throwback to the 80s. Through and through, right? Uh, Cyrus, I watched Infinite Wealth and Gaiden trailers. Man, I can't wait. Also, the story trailer for Infinite Wealth broke me. Dude, I watched them, too. And holy spoilers. Why, why do they have all those spoilers in the trailers? 
crazy, I say. Yeah, we we had Minerva. Wendy almost died. Justin, now this game kind of sucks. We'll be talking about it, Justin. Uh, stay tuned, guys, because once I complete this game, me and Justin are going to do a live stream and talk about it. Do our, our review together and, and talk about uh, the many problems of this game. Although, I will say, one thing that it has done is it's made me want to go back and reread the manga or watch the anime. Play Casket. It's Jover! <laughs> it sure is! Donnie, anyone wish the dub voice actors reprised their roles in this game? That would have been good, man. It would have made it better. Well, let me tell you this, too. So, a commenter the other day left a comment saying that the voice actor for Natsu, the Japanese voice actor for Natsu, is the same Japanese voice actor for Lloyd Bannings in the Trails games. And it's like, what? Because they sound totally different. Like, Lloyd is... is you know, he, he has his one attack where he's like, Rising Sun! Like his, his S-Craft attack or whatever. But otherwise, they don't really sound alike at all. So, you know, I was criticizing Natsu's Japanese voice actor because I like Todd Haberkorn better. But he, he's a good voice actor because I, I like his performance as Lloyd. So, I just thought that was pretty cool. But the question is, is it the developer's fault? I don't know. Because Gus and Koei Tecmo did a great job with the Ryza games, and I mean other games, so I don't know. That was kind of an abrupt ending. Maybe it's just a cheap, cheap ass game because it's you know, it's the second half of the anime basically. <laughs> Speaking of side quests, I still gotta finish Dragon Star Varnir Kagura. Uh, Sarah, Kevin, what do you think of the new Dragon Quest game set to release in December? It reminds you of old school Mon Monster Rancher. Yeah, that's Dragon Quest Monsters the Dark Prince. It looks really cool. And I actually have the demo downloaded on my Switch. And I was going to stream the demo at some point. Whether or not it's after I finish this game or, or whatever. Because that would make for a good October stream for, for Halloween month. But yeah, I've seen that. Looks pretty cool. There's also the Dragon Quest Adventures of Die Infinity Strash coming out. Based on the, the manga and anime Adventures of Die. Justin, I couldn't figure out how to recruit Loxus, and there are quests that require him in the team. Really? Jeez. Cyrus, 10 likes? This is the most likes stream ever? Holy crap, man, you're right. Uh, some of my streams have reached, like, 15 likes, but that's after the fact, like, people watching the replays. But not when we're live. Ah, uh, man, that sucks. Like that costume on Lucy a lot. The dynamic duo of Kevin and Justin. Can YouTube handle it? <laughs> I don't know, I'll have to wait and see. Kevin and Justin c -c 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 combo crap on a review time. Must watch or else. Well, yeah, we gotta, we gotta finish this game, and I know I'm blabbing on, but once we talk to you, Jalal, we're gonna get more cutscenes, so I just gotta get through these comments real quick, and then we'll continue. Um, Draken, my favorite Dolph Ziggler moment was when he won the Intercontinental Championship from The Miz in 2016. He put his job on the line in that match. Yeah, Dolph Ziggler had so many great moments, man. I remember there was the Survivor Series, too, with him, I think John Cena, The Big Show, Ryback, and someone else. That was another good match. Dolph Ziggler's always been great. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. They don't sound similar at all. And yeah, Justin, wait, Lloyd and Natsu are voiced by the same guy? Yes, the Japanese voice actor is the same person for Lloyd and Natsu. Isn't that crazy? Because, like, I've criticized Natsu's voice in this game because he's always screaming and shit. But I've said, playing through Trails to from Zero and Azure, I normally just skip the dialogue. Like, as I read it, I'll, I'll keep going and not let the actors finish it. But the performances in Zero and Azure are so, gr so good that I just listen to the whole thing. And Lloyd is, is great there, so <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, but I guess that shows the dude has range. Yup, just looked it up. Tetsuya Kakehara voices both Lloyd and Natsu. That's right, man. Crazy. Justin, I pre-ordered the new Dragon Quest game. Hopefully no BS happens this winter. I hope not. Uh, Play Casket. Oh, this is a Gust RPG. This is a goofy licensed one that saw delays. Probably why it turned out the way it did. Yeah, it came out uh, in 2020, I think. Your last... Your turn blew up? Nice. 
And <laughs> Justin, why did I type R? L -L -L. I don't know, but let's uh, talk to Jalal and get this quest underway. Because I think you can recruit Jalal here. And he's trying to take care of these dark guilds. Which, uh, he's a one-man band now because altier has gone and Merity doesn't have a character model. Another, uh, <laughs> disservice. <laughs> like, this game has the Gus Delicious ladies, like Lucy and all that, running around. Why couldn't Merity join the party and go running around, right? Nope. I'm surprised it didn't make her into a DLC character, but it is what it is. So the rest of this stream here, we're just gonna pretty much shitpost and read comments. I have a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things written down, a couple announcements to make, and yep. So there you go. Uh, Komong, have you played this game? I think I recalled seeing the game in one of your past haul videos. And yeah, Justin was playing it right when I started streaming it. So, and we're gonna do a review. Which, yeah, we're in the final chapter, so we're, we're almost done. Okay, so a couple of announcements, guys. Um, I may do a stream tomorrow. Oh, shit, we don't have the durable scale? Okay. Well, off to a good start there, but anyway. I, I may do a stream tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern because there is so much stuff to talk about and so much footage and trailers I want to go over with you in regards to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, the, the new Trails game, Trails Through Daybreak, which is coming out in summer 2024, Tales of Arise DLC, just all sorts of stuff. So I, I may do a stream tomorrow night and we'll just, you know talk to you guys in the, in the chat and show some trailers so, so show some screenshots things like that so we might do a stream tomorrow you'll have to stay posted for that i'm like 80 percent sure i'll do a stream tomorrow <laughs> now another thing i'd like to announce is the fact that i was given a review code for fate samurai remnant which is the game that's releasing next week also a koei tecmo game and the other, I think that's the publisher and the developer is Omega Force. And uh, if you don't believe me, I'll show you right here. I have it <laughs> right here. And I can't show you anything due to embargo stuff, but they gave me the, the digital deluxe edition. So I have like all this DLC added to it. And the story behind that is for the past two years year and a half to two years I've been applying for review codes as they become available because why not what do I have to lose so I've applied for at least 20 review codes over the course of the past year and a half to two years and I was shocked I got a response last night they sent me a review code it's like holy shit dude <laughs> like what <laughs> now I, I feel weird about it because again like I applied for it with the intention of not getting a review code because who am I? You know, I don't even have a thousand subscribers. Do you think that would be the, the criteria? And there's nothing in the message, in the, in the email, where it says I have to have the review out on that day or whatever. It's just don't post anything until that day. Because, like, how can I even finish the game in a week? The game comes out next week. They gave me the code yesterday. And it's like a really overwhelming feeling, because it's like, what the hell, man? I, I had no intention of buying the game. I didn't think I'd get a review code. And they sent it to me. It's like, what the fuck? So I'm very grateful, and I will be playing the game, Fate Samurai Remnant, and I will have a review of it. So look forward to that very soon. But I'm not going to rush through the game in a week and get a get a uh, a review out next week because it, it's just not possible like how long even is it you know i, I was trying to, to look it up there's no how long to beat yet because obviously no one's played it and it's just crazy like what what what's even crazier about the whole situation is the fact that they they sent me the digital deluxe edition and I was looking just to see what it's worth. And obviously the new game is $60. The digital deluxe edition is $100. They gave me a $100 thing for free. It's like, what? So again, I'm, I'm no shill. 
I didn't expect to get it. <laughs> it just kind of happened. <laughs> and I will be fair at the game and, and go through it and, and give a review. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, Joel's hunting down the, the Dark Guild members. So we're done there. It's crazy though, guys. Like, and, and I just makes me think, does anyone who applies get it? Or, or is that game just... I mean, that's Fate, man. Fate's a, a very prominent series. It's Koei Tecmo, Omega Force. They've done the, the Samurai uh, Warrior games, the, the Fire Emblem fighting game. They've done some big titles. And for them to just throw around $100 products like that, that also brings back the question about is digital even worth anything? Because I'm a physical guy through and through. I always like to get my physical media. The fact that they can just give out digital codes like that, is, is it even worth anything? Like how many digital codes do they have lying around? All right, someone's being an imposter. Send him flying, Natsu. All right. Uh, Justin, when he starts to sky, I'll start playing it too. I beat the game last weekend. Kamanga Cool, Cyrus, still can't believe it's coming out in the summer. I'm still mind blown, LOL. I know, man, that's that's great. That means we'll probably get the second one the following year. Justin, holy crap, Cyrus, review code, Nani, that's cool. Play casket, Kevin's becoming official. Hold down the hatches. Shit just got real. Kamanga, Kevin Maximus, Cyrus, golf clap. You're the JRPG guy. Kamanga, impressive. Play Casket, that's a big snag though. All we got is a, a probable indie interview when their game becomes closer to release. That's that's pretty cool though. That's awesome. Justin, yeah, I wasn't planning on buying it either. I mean, again, guys, I, I didn't even expect to get it. I just what what happens is I follow these companies on, on Twitter and stuff, and they'll always have a post like, oh, calling all content creators. If you'd like to collaborate with us. Fill out this form and, you know, whatever. So I, I always fill it out. And I, I've never gotten a response before. And I finally got a response. So I'll take it. Cyrus, that's cool though, man. Our little Kevin's growing up brings a tear to my eye. Komanga, free games. Justin, that's right, Kev. Never shill. We're never going to shill, man. Never. <laughs> I'm pinning that. Play Casket, if, if you shill hard, we'll understand. Justin, fuck the shills. Cyrus, yeah, Fate is, is fairly popular. Maybe not enough people applied. Maybe that's what it is. Play Casket, Koei is probably looking for a major advertisement towards Fate. Cyrus, or maybe they just want more people talking about it. Play Casket, I mean, out of the digital deluxe, how much of that can even be turned around? Nothing. Then they technically lose nothing. Uh, still, man, like, they just gave it to you for free, though? $100? Cyrus, if Kevin even gets two people to buy the game based off his review, then they technically make money. Draken Digital is nothing. We buy physical on this channel. I agree with you, man. Physical is where it's at. Play Casket. A hundo is nothing if it means you're previewing that DLC to eventual potential buyers. And Cyrus, wait, am I technically a content creator? Yeah, you guys, if you make videos, you're a content creator. So I'll show you this too. This is the thing they sent me in the email. I think I can show you this. And just, just so we're aware, like this is like the shit that they put out and that they send to reviewers. So I'm getting the behind the scenes scoop for you guys now. Never before seen. At least I don't think anyway. So ready? This is what they sent me. Along with the review code. All reviews, videos, live streams, screenshots, guides, social media posts are under embargo until September 28th. That's when the game comes out. No social media posts allowed in any way before the embargo. We especially want to ask you to include the mentioned spoiler alert in the title, description, thumbnail of your videos and live streams when talking about key story information such as servants, true names, major cutscenes, or the following sensitive elements. After the start of the last chapter, quests and events that appear in the second run playthrough of the game after the initial game is cleared. 
please, we'd like to ask for your cooperation during the first weekend not to post any screenshots or videos related to major cutscenes, event scenes, Noble Phantasm animations, the final chapter, servants' true names. We know that you'll probably want to create videos to help players complete the game. We want to give players a chance to finish the game by themselves, so I'd like to ask I'd like to ask for your cooperation and wait for after the first weekend before posting any videos related to the main sensitive elements listed previously. Please do not post any spoilers on social media after the embargo, so don't post any spoilers whatsoever. Now, they never said, like, I need to have... This also begs the question, these reviewers get their reviews out the day that the game comes out, so they have a week to beat this game and get their review out by next Friday. They never said to me, I need to do that and get my review out, so it just makes you wonder, are these show reviewers, are they just rushing to the game so their video is the first one out, so they get the most views, or so Koei Tecmo sees that, so they'll get more review codes? Like, what's the philosophy there? Because, I'm telling you right now, I haven't even started <laughs> Fate Samurai Remnant. I just booted it up, downloaded it, and saw, like, the opening cutscenes just to, just to see that it works. But I'm playing Trails to Azure, and I want to finish that game first, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish Trails to Azure and then start Fate Samurai Remnant afterward. And it's just like, there's no way you can beat the game in a week. Unless other bigger reviewers got the code earlier. You think that's possible? I don't know, it's just, it's interesting to see, to see this stuff now firsthand. Because you'll say, check YouTube on Friday. There's going to be like 20 Fate Samurai Remnant reviews. ジェラルほどの魔導士でも私は専門外だしな。無理に協力してもらう必要はないさ。最悪。行き来するところを直接抑えればいいんだから。うーん。あ、そうだ。レビーちゃんなら何かわかるかも。おい、どうしたのおな
隠蔽するって言っても関係者は通れなくちゃいけないきっとおかげでこの部分だけ暗号化が甘いここをつけば崩せるかもしれない一人でタクトしたんえっとよくわからないけど頑張ってねよし解けたー術<笑>式を書き換えたからこれで私たちも通れるよさすがよし That's our love you All right. Cyrus, me who bought Monster on the Rise digitally today. <laughs> yeah, physical, physical supremacy, Cyrus. Like, come on, bro. Unless you got like, a really good deal on it. I don't know, man. On this channel, we're big fans of physical media. That's just the way it is. Play caskets. Kevin better make a soy prize thumbnail. Get those clicks in. Yeah, mouth wide open, like, oh, pointing at it. You know, like, what is with those thumbnails? I always make fun of Dreamcast guy for that because I swear to God, if you look at Dreamcast guy, he has, like, a lazy eye. And I don't mean to make fun of him too much, but, like, why would you put a picture of yourself on the thumbnail if you're all disheveled looking and, and you just look like a mess? Like, why? Like, <laughs> D does that really help the algorithm? I don't know. I don't really even make thumbnails. I just get screenshots from the game or the cover art and just crop it. Do I think the the, the pixel dimensions is like uh, 1280 by 720 or something like that. And that's the YouTube dimensions. And then make it in HD or whatever. So. <laughs> I don't have time to make thumbnails. Especially doing this soy prize face as you say. <laughs> Cyrus, if there's any uh, spicy outfits in the game, they could use that for the thumbnail. Easy views. Yeah, the spot. That's why it's good to always uh, put the ladies in the thumbnail because it does get views. Like I did with my community post earlier today with Lucy, because <laughs> that'll that'll get the views coming. <laughs> it's true though. I'm serious. But yeah, we got your lacrima, Jalal. かなり前に発見になったラクリム。あまりに。あ、金ってことは違法なラクリムってこと。この手のものは表現が回収処分してる。それも完全では。ウラスこいつは俺が持ち帰ってもう少し調べてみる。協力ありがとう。ルーシー
Uh, Draken, only if I'm being paid will I ever test anything. Well, I mean, aren't you a Fate fan too, Draken? If they gave you a, a free Fate game, wouldn't you uh, <laughs> play test it essentially? <laughs> Cyrus, oh boy. You might not be mentally ready to jump into another game after beating Azure. Oh man. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, that's that's how I always plan doing things though, because I played the three Sky games in a row. Then I took a break and played Yakuza Like a Dragon. Then I played Zero, now I'm playing Azure. And then after I finish Azure, I want to take a break, play something else before moving on to Cold Steel. And, uh. Then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that because there's four, well, technically five games, really. Really, four games, I guess. Because Reverie, does that count? Or that's just the epilogue to everything? Alright, let's kick these guys' asses. Who are you? フェアリーテイルのいい。なんだ。俺たちはフェアリーテイルにこっぴどくやられた元族の集まりなのよ。福地カジカギルドを襲撃するつもりだったが、手を動い。Come on, you guys will do nothing. We're gonna kick your ass. Mount your heads on the wall. <laughs> Crazy. Come on, Jola, just join Fairy Tale already. Look how Urza's looking at him, too. Ah. Play casket. Well, a physical product usually goes gold months in advance. It wouldn't be too out there if a digital version is the same way. The thing is, uh, Paraka is... I know you said it before, and I still love collecting physical media. I don't care. But you gotta understand, in this day and age, the discs are more or less your, your codes and your keys. Because what happens is when you put a disc in... It takes a while for it, it copies it and just downloads the thing onto the onto the game. So I mean that that's all it is. But we still like to collect physical media just to have the discs and have this shit on our shelves. At least I do. But I do understand what you're saying, Cyrus. I didn't realize I could create shorts out of my actual videos. Where's my dunce hat? Oh shit, Jalal's doing Sema. That's like his most powerful attack. <laughs> Giant meteor. <laughs> I've never made a short on my channel, and I, I don't really like shorts. I, I think they're they're kind of stupid. It's like the tick the the uh, knockoff version of TikTok, which TikTok sucks anyway. <laughs> oh God, look at them! How could this happen? <laughs>俺はこいつらを表現に引き渡してくれ。先に戻っていてくれ。あ。嘘だ、ジェラード。どうした何か気になることでもあったか。いや。戦いの前にお前が言った言葉。フェアリーテイルを守ると言ってくれたことだ。
We'll have to put him in the party then, because he's, he's got to be really powerful. Chilo. Nice. Sweet. Uh, Justin Guildhart's abandoned his daughter for a second time. I know, man. What the hell? <laughs> Play Cassie. I can try and spam it, boost your views a bit. Cyrus, you know the games I like to play. <laughs> Camera fans to Lucy, we know. <laughs> uh, it's all good. I don't care. I'm proud of it. Wait, what happened? How come we didn't... Okay, there we go. I'm like, what the fuck? Um, Alright, so now we can do Natsu's character story. I mean, I could share it to Reddit, but I don't know how much that would actually be. How much help that would be. Yeah, I don't know. The, the Reddit people. Do you, do you really want to associate with the, the people on Reddit? Yes. Would they, um... What's this? Teach Salmon or a lesson? Wait, how do... Wait, what? Where do we go? Would they take kindly to yes. people posting videos there? <laughs> Play Casket, make an AI anime Kevin soy... Prize thumbnail. No, you make it. I'm not gonna use that on my my videos. Hell no. Cyrus, I do buy physical though. You saw the limited edition at Daybreak, but yeah, I buy digital 20% of the time. Sometimes I'm just lazy, and sometimes I want the game for PC, so I have no choice. Where are we supposed to go here? Oh, over here. No, I get it. I mean, I bought the three Sky games on PC because that's the only way to play them. I mean, I can play them on PSP, but I don't have a PSP. And I understand the PC versions are better anyway because they added turbo mode and they run better. So. And I, I, I bought the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. So I bought in digital things. And I get it. There's, there's reasons to buy digital but in most cases, you gotta buy physical. That's what I believe. Oh, remember the time we first met, Natsu? Ooh. See, Lucy remembers it well. Natsu's just like, oh yeah, who cares? <laughs> Any other day. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> Slave Lucy. <laughs> the ship, she knows. でも<笑><笑> No, I doubt it. This is like a throwback, man. This is like early, early episodes in the series. Let's do it. Alright, Kamanga's singing about physical. Cyrus, I use Canva, lol. Justin, yeah, I noticed that too. Some of my most viewed Togusatsu reviews have hot ladies in the thumbnails. Yeah, it's true, man. I One of my more viewed videos is... It's called like An... Or rather, An. That's how you pronounce your name in Persona 5. An Takamaki shaking her ass for 10 minutes to Life Will Change, which is one of the songs from Persona 5. And I just looped the gif of her ass shaking <laughs> from the intro. <laughs> and that, that has like over a thousand views. So, you know, that's that's what people want to watch. So just give it to them, I guess. <laughs> Cyrus, my most viewed video is the Daybreak Announcement Trailer. I did use... Now, is it Agnes or Agnes? Because I heard the people from the NIS... NIS livestream saying Agnes. 
and a lane on the thumbnail, so I don't know how much that skewed things. I think that, that video might have done well, too, because people were searching that. It's a hot topic. And that's a good thing to get started, Cyrus, because I know you're, you're still getting things going over there. But try and do videos like that, like current event topics. And that, that'll get you more views as well. Play casket. Kev is going to need a break before Cold Steel. I do, man. And also, because I have Star Ocean, the second story, are pre-ordered. And that's coming out on November 2nd. So, I mean, I want to play that game. And then there's also the, the Tales of Arise DLC coming out on November 9th, I want to say. So, I want to play that, too. There, <laughs> there's so many games in so little time. And I bought even more games. I'm going to have a haul video probably on Wednesday. Because, well, we're going to stream again on Tuesday. So, and I don't know what I'm going to do on Monday yet. But, but Wednesday, I'll have another haul video. And you can be like, what the hell? Why are you buying more of this shit, Kevin? And it's like, well, I found it on sale and I got this for that reason. And uh, it is what it is. You guys know the story. You know. Justin, whatever happened to that Fate Extra remake? Is that still happening? I don't know, man. I have no idea. Oh, how's it going, gaming and stuff? I'm still trying to get caught up on the on the comments. I see you there. Hey, everyone, but we're a little bit behind, so <laughs> I'll get caught up eventually. Play Casket, those intro bits are something, and Trails of Reverie is sort of a capstone paired with Daybreak of both Crossbell and Cold Steel. Yeah, that's like the epilogue to that whole arc. Alright, the Western High Ground? Cyrus, Reverie was so good, I feel like the game was made for me, lol. Yeah, I have a massive Switch collection. Play Casket, dude, you're talking to a physical bro. Just saying the game going gold should imply the digital variant will be available to give the code out. What's up, gaming? Cyrus, I think they're dumb. Oh, shit, what happened? Where'd it go? I think they're dumb, too, but I figured maybe I'll try them and see if I can't get more people to see my stuff can't hurt i only lose what 20 minutes yeah just try all sorts of stuff you'll 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 get people to watch you know uh you're watching the future diary i'm assuming that's an anime series i attempted a live stream of dot hack this afternoon but it didn't consistently run got about 30 minutes in at least <laughs> slave, slave Lucy. Justin, according to Eric Landon, retro games are going down in price. They're still twice the price they were five years ago. Yeah, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I guess luckily a lot of the retro games are being remastered and, and things like that. Oh, here's the Dark Guild people. Fake salamander. <laughs> you would think people around here would know who Natsu is at this point. I mean, he's been saving, saving the towns left and right. I mean, he destroys buildings, but he still saves the towns, right? Yeah, imagine Lucy and Princess Leia's outfit. <laughs> uh, Justin, by the way, how come he never did a review for Fire Emblem Engage? I thought he was a huge Fire Emblem fan. He's very frugal when it comes to games, Justin. Like, he'll get his review codes, you know. But I guess he didn't get one for that game. And also, um, I don't know. He, he, he didn't buy it yet. He's waiting for the price to go down. Oh, let's see. Does she turn into her... Yeah, she does! How how come we can't get that as an outfit for her to wear? What, what the fuck? Are you serious? You're robbing me of, of my Lucy! But yeah, he, he did a, um... A video... On Tuesday, last week... Of five JRPGs he needs to talk about... 
and one of the games was the Final Fantasy 16 demo, and, and he, he at least called it like it is, and it's not a real Final Fantasy game. Thank you very much. And people were mad at him in the comments. I'm the real Salamander. Go run! Run, run, run! Oh my god. Probably because Engage was mid, that's coming from a huge Fire Mom fan. And still, the reviewers can't review good stuff all the time. Yeah, and, and for him, being a huge Fire Mom fan, he, he should do a video and say, you know, the game fucking sucks. It was mid or whatever. Because, yeah, I, I seem to remember he also reviewed Fire Emblem Three Houses and said it's good, but it's not like old Fire Emblem. Which I, I have Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I couldn't get into it. Maybe I should let's play it one day. Because I played it for a few hours, and I, I just, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't really feeling it. Alright, so... I guess now we can do these requests. Might as well, right? Because because once we start that... I just want to check one thing, because I think there's these requests around in all the areas. Where you give them items. The one we don't have any items for, obviously. But we'll just check that real quick. And yeah, he was shitting on Final Fantasy 16 in that in that video on Tuesday, and, and people were getting all upset, like, "Oh no, Final Fantasy's always changed." Which I was I was talking to some guy on Twitter the other day, because he he had a post saying, "Oh, Final Fantasy 10 came out, and they said it wasn't Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 11 came out, they said it wasn't Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 12, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, going going on down the line, but that's sort of our, our saying." Retro always wins in that because 13 wasn't necessarily a good game, you know, it's better in retrospect because in comparison to 15 and 16, 13 is just better. And that's how that works. That's why people look back on Final Fantasy 13 fondly now against 15 and 16. Because, yeah, when, when 13 came out, it's like, okay, whatever, it's not good. But looking back, it's better than people remember it for, if that makes any sense. Does that make any sense? I was trying to explain that, and, you know, you can't really reason with people. <laughs> They're just setting their ways, and I get it. Uh, Cyrus recorded my reaction to two Yakuza trailers, Dragon's Dogman 2 gameplay from Tokyo Game Show. Just have to edit those, but I think I'm going to treat reaction videos as low effort content. Komanga love haul videos. Well, get ready, Komanga, because I'll, I'll just say this. I'll just say this, and you'll have to watch the video. I bought my first PS5 game. I don't have a PS5, but I bought my first PS5 game in preparation of getting a PS5. <laughs> Sarah, is Kevin finishing this game tonight? No, I'm not, Sarah. I'm, I'm just going off the rails tonight doing side quests now and uh things of that nature but we will be finishing this game soon before october hopefully justin engage does look like a step down after three houses still though it's on sale at gamestop lol well he's also in mexico so i think things are different for him what's this thing there's this thing on the on the on the map let me check that out so i think it's more expensive for him in canada but who knows What is this? Can we do that? I might be. Let's let's try. I think I might be able. Let's see. Oh, Ichia sucks. Are we gonna be able to do it? I don't know. I'll try it. But yeah. Um. And with Engage, 
while it does look like a step down, I feel like it's it's a fan service game for the Fire Emblem fans because it's like a callback. You can have characters from the other games appear, right? All right, there's a ton of comments. Let me let me let me get caught up here because there's so many comments. <laughs> I appreciate that. We have a nice crowd tonight. Thanks, guys. Cyrus, not put as much work into them as my main series. Give myself a break, you know. Can't spend six hours on every video. You're crazy, man, for do for doing that. You you're putting a lot of effort into into those reaction videos. Good for you. I, I hope people will find your channel and, and give it a watch. Go check out Cyrus's channel, guys. He's uh he's doing reactions to or rather comparing the OST in the Trails in the Sky games with the original soundtrack to the Evolution soundtrack, which is more arranged, remixed music. Justin, wait, I have to play Reverie first before Daybreak. Fuck. All right, Justin. Here, here's the deal with the Trails games, as far as I can tell. The correct way to play them is to play them all in order. But... You can also play them in, in the ways you played them, because I know you haven't played the Sky games, where you can play the individual arcs, like you played Zero and Azure. I think you played Cold Steel 1 and 2. Now, Reverie is like the epilogue to to uh, Crossbell and to the Cold Steel games, and also has characters from the Sky games, I think, anyway. And with Daybreak... That's the start of a new arc. So it takes place after Reverie. And there's, with it being Trails, I think there are returning characters. But I think it's its own group of characters. Like, it's the same universe. But it's a new cast of characters. I think. Maybe Cyrus can explain better, because he's played all the games. <laughs> Gaming Daybreak looks cool. Cyrus, I don't think Kevin will finish tonight. There's post-game stuff. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, play Casket Massive Switch Collection. How many you got? I have probably like 20 Switch games. Okay, you do have to play it. Cyrus, Reverie directly sets up Daybreak. Justin, I watched Season 2 of Demon Slayer this week. It was pretty good. Love the theme song. Awesome. Demon Slayer is a great anime. Always got me hyped to watch those fight scenes. Demon Slayer is awesome. Jujutsu Kaisen is another great one. Seen it. He doesn't recognize him because he's not wearing the scarf, lol. <laughs> uh, Justin, I've seen it. Gonna start reviewing the manga next month. Cyrus, Final Fantasy 16 is a Western Final Fantasy. Wait, I guess I had deja vu. Though I made this comment before. <laughs> uh, it's a Western RPG with an Eastern principles. Play Casket. I like to engage more than three houses. Engage played more like classic Fire Emblem than three houses. Yeah, on this channel, gaming, we hate Chainsaw Man. I tried to read the first... Well, I did read the first volume of the manga, and I thought it sucked. It was the most overrated anime manga of the past few years. Everyone loves it. I can't stand Chainsaw Man. <laughs> and Justin, I hate Chainsaw Man and haven't seen Hell's Bar Paradise. <laughs> Cyrus... Three Houses was good. I love the Blue Lions route first. The characters all felt more connected with each other. Justin, Three Houses was good. Would I, like, have a good time Let's Playing Three Houses? Or would I just, you know, there's too much to do. What do you, what do you guys think? My favorite Fire Emblems are Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, though. Probably says a lot about my tastes. Uh, gaming Love Chainsaw Man. Justin, Final Fantasy 15 was good, but felt rushed at the end. I agree. I actually liked 15, but I, I do understand. Sarah recently rewatched Death Parade. Love the opening theme song to that anime. Justin uploaded a haul video today. Yeah, go check out Justin's channel. Absolutely. I heard Death Parade has a cameo from a Death Note character or something like that. Cool. Sarah, like the first half of it, I like the dynamic of the games and the people struggling to get out of purgatory. 
<laughs> Cyrus might take a few more streams. Maybe next week he'll finish the game at his current pace. Not sure though. The epilogue could have a ton of content. I know at this rate, <laughs> we can't even get through a battle. <laughs> uh, Engage is great in terms of characters and gameplay, but the story was very meh. I don't care for it. Don't listen to Kevin. Don't listen to Kevin. Maybe I'll pick it up next week. How long does it take to beat? Three houses was 80 hours. Cyrus, I don't feel like my videos are quite to the level of quality I want them to be, but I don't know. Nah, man, you're doing a good job. Gaming the Promised Neverland is a show of two halves. First half was good, the second half sucked. I was angel of death to watch the bad taste of teeth. Promised Neverland's ending left to my mouth. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch Promised Neverland. <laughs> What? Play casket? Trails games are like this. Imagine a train wreck dipped in gold, then continues to wreck, but also never stops. You can't look away. You don't like the Trails games. I know You've already explained that you don't like the Trails games. Don't rain on our parade. I mean, hell, Cyrus has a Kevin Graham profile picture with sunglasses. I, I love the Sky games, and I love Zero and Azure, so... You could be a party pooper in the corner, but... We're, we're Trails fans over here. <laughs> Cyrus, Trails games are good. Release order good. JRPG heaven. Oh my god. That never, it's never ending. What's going on here? <laughs> yeah, who's spoiling stuff? What's going on here? Message re redacted. What the fuck? You know, Draken, I've said to... I specified to you a number of times, like, you spoil a ton of shit, bro. Like, why? You gotta understand, not everyone has seen the shows you've watched before. And, like, how many times do I need to tell you? Don't spoil anything. <laughs> Cyrus, I haven't bought any of these games recently, but I have about, uh, 50. There you go. Yeah, I got like, I got like, uh, 20 Switch games. Sarah, you hate Chainsaw Man? You have an issue of the full panel spread of some ch chick puking in the protagonist's mouth? It's so gross, Sarah! Like, have you watched Chainsaw Man? Because I read the first volume in the manga, and it's just overrated trash. It's it's the flavor of the month that these, these Zoomers all love, and I don't like it. You know, there's better stuff out there. Like, there's a lot of old stuff I haven't watched or, or read, so why bother with Chainsaw Man when you can, uh... Go back. Play casket straightforward. You may enjoy three houses more than engage. Since you got the, the story to chew through. How many Switch games do you have then, Play Casket? <laughs> Above 50. Uh, 200 Switch games? Jesus. Justin, I like the Trails games, but I feel like they're a bit overhyped and I like it if the games were more political and not the crazy god stuff. <laughs> well, I will say zero, zero, well, Azure in particular has been pretty political with the, the conference. I didn't see Draken's comment either. It was, it was redacted. But, I mean, don't, don't spoil. <laughs> I right, almost caught up here. Cyrus, Cold Steel games are political. Osborne is one of the best characters in all fiction, in my opinion. Cold Steel just drags on down with Crossbell. Oh, you like Crossbell, Play Casket. Yeah, my favorite game so far the whole series is is Sky the Third. Fuck Reen? What did Reen do? Can we all agree that Estelle is the best protagonist, though? Estelle and Lloyd are the best. Checks list. Holy fuck, and I thought I had a lot of Switch games. How many? You have over a thousand Switch games? What the fuck? Alright, we're all caught up now. Let's, let's, get, what are we even doing here? Yeah, we're trying to do the, this attack, so let's do this. Um. Yeah, what were we even saying? A lot of stuff. <laughs> Uh, Estelle and Lloyd are the best, <laughs> without a doubt. 
and... Oh, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, Gilliath Osborne is a very interesting character, and you can just tell that he's going to shape up to be important for later on, especially once I get to Cold Steel, just by his few appearances in Sky the Third and in Azure now. Oh, we didn't, we didn't even do it. Yeah, because we had Ichia, so what the hell was I doing? I guess I'll have to destroy that off-screen or something. Oh, well. All right, so let's go over here. Estelle is best, Estelle. Crossbell is solid. Love the dude. Lloyd <laughs> approves of police brutality. I, I love, I posted the screenshot in the community page last night where you, you fight a boss, and right now there's there's all sorts of monsters running around, and well, you can do fishing in, in Crossbell, as you can the other games. You know, you can fish with Estelle. You can obviously fish with Reen in, in Cold Seal, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, and he had he had a line of, oh, cryptids are running around in Crossbell, but <laughs> this is a perfect spot to go fishing. It's like, what? <laughs> perfect time to go fishing, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, I like, Lloyd is great. I, he's down to earth. And I like him. I like the dude. And same with Estelle. Like, she, she's great, too. Oh. She has a big stick, and she's going to bring her ultra violence. All right, durable scale. How do we get that? Is there a way I can look up, like, which monsters drop the durable scales? Justin, I wasn't a huge fan of Reen at the end of Cold Steel 2. Gaming, the first Cold Steel was a drag, but apparently the sequels really picked things up. Uh, again, I haven't played the Cold Steel games yet, gaming, but I will say the other games, the Sky games and the Zero and Azure, they're great. They're great, so you gotta play them. Cyrus, is it Van or Vaughn? Because I want to say Vaughn, but I think it's Van. Va Van is amazing, too. He's the protagonist of Daybreak. Play Casket. I'm a goblin with ways to acquire games. Post a picture of, of your Switch collection, uh, Paraka. <laughs> we, we demand to see it. What's this attack? Infinity Glamour? Look at him. <laughs> oh, shit, Ichiya. Go. <laughs> Kick it ass. Jack and I barely have 80 Switch games. You must be rich. Yeah, like I said, I have like 20. Cyrus, I wasn't a huge fan of Reen either, but Cold Steel 3 changed my opinion. I understood his character a lot more. Play Casket, I'm almost done with 4. Lots of exposition, and Reen still exists. Yeah, so you don't like Reen. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know who Reed is. I just know his name. <laughs> Sarah, I have maybe 30 Switch games, but most of them are games I love. Play Casket Time to Lurk. <laughs> Stuff happening. Man, I think I have 30 Switch games too, give or take. The final boss of Azure, though. LOL. What? <laughs> the final boss. The final bosses in the games haven't been too difficult, so far anyway. Are you saying it's difficult? Don't, don't say anything about the final boss. Oh shit, we could... How'd that happen? How do we change Natsu? Wait a minute. How'd that even happen? Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now... Let's just do these, these requests then. Gaming, haven't bought new games in a, in a while. Hoping to get some of the in the next few months. There you go. There's always deals going around, man. So yeah, I, I picked up a shit ton of games recently. And I'm going to have a haul video sometime this coming week. Probably, one, probably all on Wednesday. Alright, let's do these quests now. Um... Yeah, let's just fight these monsters. That way I can keep talking to you. And I'm not sure if you guys have seen all the trailers and gameplay footage of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but that game looks so good. It's a, an open world, 
like a completely open world. There is so much to do in the game, so many mini games. It it's unbelievable. And that embodies Final Fantasy a hell of a lot more than, than Final Fantasy 16 was trying to do. Like, like even the heart and soul in it, you, you can see Red 13 riding a chocobo. <laughs> and he's just in this really awkward position. And the mini games that, that they've shown so far, there's, you know, chocobo racing. There is, um... Like a piano mini game, mini game. I saw clouds playing the piano. It's like what? Just so much to do, man. I can't wait for that game. I'm getting a PS5. I know I've I've gone back and forth about that time and time again. But it's finally time to buy a PS5 and get ready for for uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I do have a question though. I don't think any of you guys have a PS5 yet. But there was the DLC for Final Fantasy VII Remake for Yuffie. And it was exclusive only to PS5. And I'm just curious, like, do I have to buy the game all over again to play the DLC? Or the fact that I have the game on the PS4, can I can I do the DLC or just down like what do I do? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's very confusing. Justin, Zero Boss was easy. Azure Boss has SMT levels hard. Oh boy. Well, I'll get to that when I get to that. Um, I'm in Chapter 3 right now. I'm trying to think of a way to explain things without, without spoiling. But yeah, Chapter 3, so you can just figure out where I'm at. Oh my god, why did we put Ichi in the party? He sucks. <laughs> but, dude, all the side quests, it, it's so worth it to do all the side quests. There was the one where you had to go back to the amusement park with Tio. And Lloyd and Tio were in the Mishi and, and Michette costume. And it's just so funny, man. I love the characters in it. Sarah, I only play games on the Switch. I've always had a fondness for handheld. That's cool. Yeah, I like the Switch. I have a Switch, but I always prefer, if, if I'm given the option, I play the games on, on console because I just like the big screen. But I get it, you know? It's it's comfortable to play handheld. You can play it anywhere. It's good. Cyrus, 7 Rebirth looks Kino. It sure does, man. It sure does. There's so much that they did a panel, Tokyo Game Show. It was it was last night actually, and it was so funny because they had the panel of um, Kitase, Hamaguchi, Toriyama, and Nomura. But Nomura didn't show up in person. It's like what the hell? Nomura is is the brains behind the, this whole, you know, this whole game, and he didn't even show up. It, it was just his voice. And he was the one who was like specifying, oh look at Red 13, look at him go. <laughs> it was just funny. Man. Red 13 on the chocobo in this really awkward position riding the thing. And there's there's like item crap. There's so much to do in the game, man. That's why we're, we're probably gonna do another live stream tomorrow, guys, because I know I've just been rambling like crazy in this stream and we're not even doing anything. We're, we're doing like side quests. But I want to go through all these trailers and just talk about it with you, and that'll be a good opportunity. We can I'll just get everything up and we can go through it and dissect it. And Tokyo Game Show, at least Tokyo Game Show showed me personally things I want to see because I, I did like a big rant video after Summer Game Fest back in June where there was nothing. There was nothing good. It, it's all the, the shit like, you know, Spider-Man or God of War or Horizon, whatever, the stupid games. And I'm like, where's the JRPGs? And finally, I get to see all these JRPGs. 
So I'm happy. Jesus, look at that attack. And I'm not a huge fan of Final Fantasy VII to begin with. Still need to play seven remakes, so I'm in no rush. I think I saw Cyrus go back to the digital physical thing. They have a digital bundle for Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and it's $100. Digital only. Now, that's an option for you, but I, I gotta get the physical copies. Gaming 7 Rebirth has an open world. Awesome. Yeah, man, it does. I'm not even a big open world fan, but it looks beautiful. Cyrus Nope stole my PS4 Pro, which has served me well for a long time. Absolutely. Yeah, I grew up with Nintendo, so I'm more partial to them as well. I've, I've had Nintendo consoles too, but PlayStation 2 is where it's at. That's like my console growing up. The PlayStation 2. I've never had an Xbox console ever. I've had... I gotta think for a minute. I've had a lot of the, the Nintendo handhelds. I had the Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance SP. DS. 3DS. Um, I had GameCube. That was my first Nintendo console. GameCube. Wii. No Wii U. I never got the Wii U. Switch, obviously. Then with PlayStation, I had PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4. I've never had the PlayStation Sony handhelds, though. I never had a, a PSP or a Vita. But I've had the consoles. And I never had Xbox. Hmm, I'll talk into that. As well, Draken still can't believe they're making digital Game Boy Advance games. PlayStation Loyalist since 1998. Yeah, they're paying you guys to rent Game Boy Advance games at the Switch Nintendo Shop or whatever. Like, you pay for the online subscription service for Game Boy Advance games? Like, do you guys know what, what uh, <laughs> No Cash GBA is or Desmume? Any of the emulators? Does it ring a bell? <laughs> I guess not. Like, even a potato. You could get a Game Boy Advance emulator to work on your on your phone. But, whatever. Oh, wow, Sarah, you had a Sega Game Gear? That's awesome. Komanga X-Bone can't get their acts together. I heard, the, what's the guy's name? Phil Spencer. He's like, oh, we're going to buy Nintendo. Like, oh, good luck with that, bro. <laughs> good luck with that. Men. <laughs> Look at his celebration. Ichia. The manliest of men. Yeah, man. And, and Starfield, is Starfield dead in the water now? I feel like that game was shield. And now no one's talking about it. Alright, I know this is weak, but let's just do this attack, because why not? <laughs> Cyrus, I had a Dreamcast at one point. I remember I'd play this one Power Ranger fighting game all the time. That's cool. <laughs> you're old, Sarah? Don't say that. <laughs> I think you did say that. You're, you're probably the oldest one here, because I mean, we're all in our like late 20s, early 30s. <laughs> Anyway. But yeah, there, there's just so much going on. So many great games. And I'm looking forward to my day off tomorrow to continue Trails to Azure. 43, Sarah? Wow. I return to the guild. Play casket. Heard your request. Kevin posted a pic on the profile. All right, man. Let's uh, let's see. <laughs> All right. Let's um 
do that one. I gotta, I gotta go to your page now. I'm surprised Synthetic Man's not streaming tonight. He streamed the other night, though, didn't he? Holy shit, dude! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> what? How do you have this many games, bro? Now I'm assuming the Switch is your 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 biggest collection, like your, your most game. Man, wow! That's crazy. Go go to Play Casket's YouTube page and look at his community section. You can see his Switch collect. The Switch collection. That's unbelievable. Let's go over here. <laughs> Sarah, I'm a 12 year old boy trapped in a woman's body. <laughs> Cyrus, the last Xbox exclusive I played was Quantum Break, the live action time travel one that felt like a playable TV series. I actually really liked it. Justin, I picked up a Power Rangers show this week, Operation Overdrive. Scorpio Overdrive is one of the most hated seasons. <laughs> Justin, I heard it was the last one. Jack and Sheriff class. Sarah, yes, Synthetic Man streamed the new Resident Evil 4 DLC. That's right, Resident Evil 4 has a new DLC, the Resident Evil 4 remake. Uh, where you play as Ada Wong, right? I played the demo for the Resident Evil 4 remake, and actually, it was it was fun. It was a fun stream. <laughs> I was going crazy. But I'm not really a big fan of those types of games. I, I can't, I can't, I don't do well with, with shooters. I just don't. Not my thing. Play Casket, I have my ways and my collections go beyond that. Gaming the Future Diary did bits at the end of the end credits, way before shows like Demon Slayer and Blue Lock were, and they're hilarious. Draken trying to build up my PSP collection lately. That's cool. Have you picked up anything cool recently? Anything good? Justin, isn't that the post-apocalyptic season? OMG, I fucked up. What are you playing right now, Justin? Nayuta? Anime Snob said it was the best season 2. Yeah, I remember Kevin trying to play the Resident Evil 4 remake demo pretty clearly. I know, man. I was losing my mind. I'm not good at those types of games. I tried to do a Let's Play Resident Evil Village, and I, I, I quit because I got lost. I couldn't figure out where to go. That's okay. I have these games. Trying to finish Champions of Nora. Cool. Alright. Where are we going? We gotta go to where those uh, exclamation points are. No, I don't want to fight you. These guys... Oh, not Those other demon-looking guys dropped the adorable scales. I gotta, I gotta fight a few of them. Komanga has no ref. Gaming Resident Evil Village takes familiar with getting familiar with the maps. Yeah, I guess I don't even like those games. Gaming. <laughs> I rather play this or uh, Trails or whatever. It's good if you like the Dark Alliance games. Oh, Justin, did you watch Razor Fist uploaded his review of Baldur's Gate 3 yesterday? Which I guess is not even a review. He's just bitching about it. Saying how, how much of the game sucks. <laughs> but, uh, what is Razor Fist even like? He did a long ass video on Deep Space Nine the other day. I think he does like Deep Space Nine, which is Star Trek. But aside from that, 
What the? What is he like? The westerns? Is this comic coming out on time? Oh, finally we got the captivating pose. Sweet. <laughs> He's got the comic with George Alex Opelos. Is that going to come out on time, or will that be another late book thrown into the abyss? Gone and forgotten. Cyrus, oh yeah, I still haven't gotten my special edition of Nayuta. I had to confirm my shipping details in an email. Glad I saw it or I never would have got it in the first place. Oh, you have to like confirm that it's shipping? Well, I, I may or may not have gotten <laughs> uh, Nayuta. Stay tuned for Wednesday's video. Oh my god, Ichi is just going ham. He's like he's like a JoJo character. <laughs> oh Justin, oh no, I haven't seen it. According to Synthetic Man, Razor Fist was exposed for not actually playing the games he reviews, but I'll check it out. Yeah, check it out. He uploaded it last night. I like Razor Fist, but my god, it, it's his way of the the highway. If you disagree with him, he just like starts coping and seething. He's right and everyone else is wrong. Which, I mean, we're all kind of like that to a certain degree, aren't we? I mean, I guess. But he's just, he's just, man, yes. And I do like Razor Fist, but you gotta call him out when you can. And, oh, so we got some more durable scales. I think we need like, how many, five or six of them? We'll keep uh, fighting these enemies. Yeah, Synthetic Man, did you watch his whole Starfield review? Because there was some deep lore in there about when he was shooting with Mauler. And Mauler, like, still doing videos on Star Wars. Like, let Star Wars go. Star Wars sucks now. Star Wars has sucked since Disney bought it. Let it go. Doing, like, six-hour videos on why The Last Jedi sucks. We know The Last Jedi sucks. <laughs> like, we don't need to keep talking about it. But the too long didn't read on the feud with Synthetic Man and Mauler was Synthetic Man was reviewing the TV series of The Last of Us and explaining that the show sucks. Because it does. And it's woke. And Mauler was like trying to defend it. Like, oh, it's, it's a great adaptation of the source material, blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, you're like the whole anti-woke group. You know, how can you defend The Last of Us show? Like, I'm, I hate The Last of Us. Everyone acts like The Last of Us, the first game, anyway, is, is the first is the best game ever, and there's no debating. The, the first Last of Us sucks. The second Last of Us sucks. The whole series sucks. How can you defend it? So there was a feud going on with them, like, when was that? A year ago? Two years ago? Whenever The, the Last of Us TV show came out. And you know how Mauler, he does his 12 hour long streams. It's like, what the fuck? EFAP. Every frame a, sec a second is, is the abbreviation. <laughs> oh, I don't get it. Which is, is just funny because with Synthetic Man, you know, he's like the anti woke video game reviewer, whereas that whole group is the anti woke TV show, TV show and movie. You know, reviewer. You would think they would want him to be a part of it so they can cover video games because clearly none of those guys play video games. And that's that's like people were getting mad at Synthetic Man for even buying and reviewing Baldur's Gate, and it's like, well, no, that's what I do here. I I cover games. And he probably made up for it. Like, how much does the game cost? 60, 70 bucks? He probably made up for it in ad revenue, so who cares? All right, rant over. Let's see what you guys have to say about that. <laughs> Razor Fitz, <laughs> exposed for not playing games he reviews, so like most game reviewers. Well, Razor Fitz streams it for like a couple hours, and I think that's how he bases his review on it, just streaming the first, you know, three, four hours of the game. Ichi is the man. Yeah, I try to be open about what other people's opinions, but I can get a bit heated at times. I saw the whole review. Gotta get those hate views. Absolutely. 
Gaming and stuff. Six hour video shutting, shitting on The Last Jedi. Guys, he got too much time on his hands. Look up Mauler Gaming and stuff. All his videos are like hours and hours EFAP every frame a second. And they'll literally do a 12 hour live stream just bitching and moaning about Star Wars. Like, we, we know, man, we know Star Wars sucks. You don't have to remind us. Justin, Star Wars is dead. Hopefully, George will buy it back and fix everything. LOL. That's what Doomcock says. Now, I did hear... I don't watch Star Wars, nor do I care, but I do hear about it from time to time. And I guess the new show they're doing was Ahsoka. And I saw a screenshot of Thrawn, and he looks terrible. <laughs> He's, like, all fat. It's like, what the hell? Who, who is this guy they cast as Thrawn? It's ridiculous. Ahsoka looks good. I think it's Rosario Dawson is, is playing her. She looks good in the in the makeup and costume. But my god. It's ridiculous. Gaming, The Last of Us games suck. Uncharted was better. The Last of Us is Uncharted with zombies. Justin never played it, but I have it. I can't buy PS3. Dragon Disney will hopefully lose billions from the strikes and theme park attendance. Hopefully. Sarah, how can you not like Last of Us TV adaptation, Kevin? Who doesn't want to watch burly bearded men make out with each other? I don't want to watch that. Hell no. No, the thing is, Sarah, I don't even like the game. I tried playing the first game, I didn't like it. And that's the bottom line. Who <laughs> wanna see that? Cyrus, are the Hollywood writers still on strike? They are. And to an extent, I agree with them because one of the big things they're arguing is the whole AI likeness. Like, they're in a movie and then the company owns the rights to use them as AI in the future like they did with Peter Cushing and, and Carrie Fisher in the Star Wars movies. So I agree with them. They, they should have their likeness. They shouldn't be turned into AI. And I also, like, keep the strike going so that, uh, you know, the shitty Hollywood movies can can just stay stay there. <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> you don't like the prequel movies, Scorpio? I love the prequel movies. The, the six Star Wars movies, episode one to six, are great. I actually like Rogue One, but that's it. And the cartoons are good. The Clone Wars cartoons, both versions... The CGI one and the anime looking one, who is from the creator of Samurai Jack, they're both good. But everything else since Disney sucks. Well, Rogue One. I like Rogue One. That one was pretty good. But the movies, the prequel movies, they're all great, man. What are you talking about? Alright, I'm not going to walk through all that shit. So let me, let me go back here. Justin Thrawn was cool in the Heir to the Empire book. You gotta look up the screenshot of the actor in the live action. He's like all fat. He's so fat. It's like, what the hell, man? Alright, there's nothing there. Where's the thing I'm looking for? Is it over here? Draken, who the hell streams for 12 hours? I could barely play a video game for 3 hours without getting bored. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know who I'm talking You guys know who Mauler is? I mean, the guy is like, how many subscribers does he even have? He's got a shit ton of subscribers. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what he's been up to. But he was the one who was Synthetic Man a while back. Yeah, he's got almost 5,000, 500,000 subscribers. So let me just t go through his back catalog here. I'll, I'll explain the, the shitty content he does. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. What happened there? Yeah, a month ago, five hour and 54 minute video, Ant-Man the Wasp, Quantum Mania, and Unbridled Misery. Then he did five hour and 50 minute long video, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Unbridled Cataclysm. So he does like five hour long videos saying how shitty Doctor Strange and Ant-Man is. We know those movies suck, bro. You know, five hours, it's longer than the actual movie. The hell is going on, man? What, like, really? I don't know. 
I used to, you know, I used to watch EVS. I used to watch Geeks and Gamers. I used to watch, um, World Class Bullshitters. God, remember them? <laughs> World Class Bullshitters. <laughs> I used to watch a few of those channels. I never liked the quartering. I always thought the quartering was really boring. And Komanga, I actually skimmed through, I remember a few weeks ago you told me about the quartering did an interview of Amaranth. And I watched it, well, skimmed through it. And one part of the interview really struck me because they are talking about how people are terminally online. And I'm just thinking, you know, quartering, you do like five videos a day. And Amaranth, you, you stream for hours a day. What, you're talking about people terminally online, yet you guys are terminally online. Basically, you know, touch grass incel. Like what? <laughs> you guys make a living being on the internet. <laughs> Don't tell me to touch grass, but that's all you do. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Same menus in Last of Us games and the second game they used for the burly brawler model, but made him a uh, her. <laughs> Go manga. Yes, and that's the bottom line, because Kevin said so. I don't even care this attack is weak. We're just going to do it for Lucy's outfit. <laughs> they forgot to lock weapon usage because you can actually aim and fire at her and it does nothing. You can fight her bare-handed. Cyrus, Rogue One was actually good. Rogue One was good! I liked Rogue One. Gaming lazy. Justin, Rogue One was good and Last Jedi had some good ideas. And I never watched the last one. Yeah, what, what was that even called? It was The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and, like, The, Ro the Rise of Skywalker, right? Ugh. And they brought Palpatine. Palpatine comes back. <laughs> like, what? How the hell did he come back? Cyrus, Anakin vs. Obi-Wan is one of the most iconic fight scenes. I love Revenge of the Sith. That movie is great. It's great. Everyone makes fun of those movies for the cringy dialogue, you know, Jar Jar Binks and all them, but those movies are good. Maybe it's because I watched them at a younger age. Like, I was I was a kid when those movies were coming out. So maybe that's why. But I liked them. I saw all three of them in theaters. Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and... And, um... Bread to the Sith. Justin, I saw it. He looks old. Uh, Cyrus gained two subs this week. I never thought I'd see the death. Cool. Sarah, it's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Hello there. So many great quotes from those, uh, those movies. And General Grievous was coughing. I mean... What a great cast, too. They had, they had fucking Christopher Lee as Count Dooku. Like, the fact that we had Christopher Lee as an old man as Count Dooku and as Saruman in The Lord of the Rings. Incredible. Cyrus, five hours, huh? Justin, I kind of like Doctor Strange too. I never even saw Doctor Strange too, but I'm just, I'm all, I'm, I'm over the superhero movies. I've seen too many of them. I'm just, I'm good. Until they can do something more interesting. It's just... It doesn't do it for me anymore. Cyrus, how do you talk about something for almost six hours? Well, Cyrus, how the hell did I make an almost three hour long video on Trails from Zero? That's like half that, that like... <laughs> Shadowing my inner spoonie. Gaming feels great to gain. Oh, it, it jumped on me. Feels great to gain new followers, huh? You'll get there eventually. Last year I had seven, now I have 176. I know, man. Doing a great job. You just gotta keep at it, and eventually you'll get subscribers. And, you know, just make videos that you like. They, they have fun making. 
Like, some people take it too seriously. I, I sort of took it seriously for a while. But at this point, it's like, you know, we'll stream, we'll do videos here and there. It's whatever, because for a while, if you remember, I was doing videos every day. I, I did, um, you know, I did two streams a week, Thursday and Saturday, and then I did a video all the other days. And, you know, it gets not really tiring, but you get bored of it. And you got you got to branch out and try different things. That's what I've been doing. Cyrus, I know I can ramble, but damn, now I don't feel so bad, and that's impressive. It really is, man. Over over a hundred, almost two hundred subs in the span of a year. Good job. And not to toot my own horn, but I might as well. I'm I'm almost at eight hundred subscribers. I'm getting there. Almost there. Draken, before 2020, I watched all those channels. The quartering always felt like a grifter. Yeah, the quartering was always a grifter. And the worst of them all is Yellow Flash. Like, I hate Yellow Flash. I'll start his videos. I don't even know what this is about, but we're going to talk about it anyway. And I'll always remember, like, with Digimon Tamers, they did a stage play a couple years ago. And the enemy of the stage play was political correctness. That was who, that was like who they were fighting in the in the play or whatever. And he started his video like, I don't know what Digimon is, never seen Digimon, but let me talk about Digimon. Like, fuck you, dude. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't do a video on that topic. Like, it just really pissed me off. And th that's when I knew Yellow Flash was a grifter. <laughs> Komanga, five hour energy is how he does it. Cyrus never liked the quartering much either. Something always felt off about the guy to me. <laughs> Has a nice beard though. <laughs> He's got a neck beard. <laughs> oh my god. I remember the, the comic book hunt did a bunch of videos on the quartering. <laughs> because the, the quartering, the way he got really famous was he was at a Magic the Gathering event. And he got beat up by... um. By a ma'am, we'll say. By a, it is ma'am. And that was how he got famous. Well, not really famous, but how he, he got popular and his name got out there. So just remember that. If you think you're down in life, just, just think. The quartering got beat up by a ma'am. <laughs> Alright, do we defeat him all? Yeah. Let's go back. Complete. Anybody remember Stacker 2? WWE used to run commercials with Eddie Guerrero and John Cena. No, I don't remember that. Uh, Justin, George Lucas pitched Disney a sequel trilogy and it sounded way better than what we got. I believe it, man. I believe it. Alright, so I guess we can't do that until we raise the story further. But yeah, I want to do all these requests. Um, now, there was one more because I think we got those durable scales. Oh, we can... Oh, okay. We can do that. Where was it? Was it over here? Cyrus, I was a kid when I watched them too. Played all the video games at the time as well. Battlefront, Lego, etc. Oh, the Lego games were great, man. They were great. And the Battlefront games. They were all good. Not anymore, though. Well, actually, I heard that the Jedi game wasn't... The Jedi Survivor, whatever it's called. I heard that was pretty good. Yeah, General General Grievous. He was cool. I wonder what Spoonie feels about Baldur's Gate 3. Did a live stream of it. Alright, let me sneak over here. Talk to this guy. Cyrus, it takes me a long time to make these, but it helps that I love the source material, so it doesn't really feel like work to me yet. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you just want to have fun doing videos. I mean, I get it. There's there's an incentive. Once you reach the threshold, you can make money. And it's definitely got to be cool to make some money off it, but you want to have fun. But it's, a, it's a fun hobby. Yeah, that's the same thing with me, Draken. I'm burnt out on superhero genre, horror movies, mystery games, classic funny movies. 
Gaming, I'll review Dr. Stone after Season 4. Gonna be a gushing review, I'm sure. Cyrus, I'm seeing that number climb. 800 is right around the corner. Oh, yeah. I would never talk about something I know nothing about. I would just sound dumb. Uh, Scorpio wasn't a joke. I thought that Digimon thing was a joke. Yeah, there was like a stage play. <laughs> Gaming an AI Borland beard. Does he wear a final shirt to complete the look? The comic book hut is back, Komanga? You can't be serious. Doing what? Making videos? Like, what's his chat? Is it still a comic book hut? Because I lost a lot of respect for Comic Book Hut after he had his all tell all about all oh, these guys are telling me to make these videos. Like, come on, be a fucking man. Do the videos on your own accord or don't do them. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Because these morons still haven't fulfilled. See, that's why I, I, I left all that comic book, comic skate nonsense away because it's just, it's just bullshit. Let's see. No, I don't see anything. What's it, what's his channel called? <laughs> I love that when you search it, the first thing that pops up is him in his his outfit that he wore on EDS's stream three years ago. <laughs> Let's see, recently uploaded. What's his channel name, Komanga? Anyway, let's do. Can I upgrade these guys? Let's see. No, I can't. What about here? Upgrade facilities? Can we do that? Oh, you can't do it until the epilogue. Can I remodel them? I don't think so. Alright, so for, we're at two hours. I'm, I'm gonna do the rest of these quests, and then the next... The next stream... Oh my god, there's a shit ton. Well, who knows. We'll keep going for a bit longer. But yeah, I think I will stream tomorrow night, guys. So tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, we're going to watch some trailers and talk more about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Tales of Arise, and stuff like that. All the new trailers that came out. Right, Justin? Same. It flipped... He flipped on his stances when his Kickstarter failed. Yeah, his Kickstarter, he had such... He, I think he set the... The goal for ten thousand dollars, which, dude, I mean, come on, you're you're not gonna get ten thousand dollars off that. I backed it because I, you know, I, I just, you, I thought he was like a, a friend of mine, you know. <laughs> I talked to him a lot. Um, you know, I wanted to help him out. And he thought that because he was he was working with, <laughs> I say that, but it was true. He. He was basically getting videos from Doug Ernst to upload, <laughs> calling out EVS, and because he was doing that deed, they were going to promote his book. Which is just, it's so weird, man. Such a weird situation they got in. So does that mean that everything he said about the, about Common America and Doug, Doug Ernst's book, Soul Finder, everything he said about them praising those books was a lie? Like what? That's kind of... That's kind of what he said, because he's like, oh, the, the manga art style, I don't like it. It's like, well, dude, you were praising these books for years, and now all of a sudden you don't like it? Like, what? No, I don't know. Cyrus, I'm just having fun. I don't ever see myself getting to that point where I can monetize stuff anyway. It would be nice, but I'm... Uh, but I know the niche I'm in, El Mayo. Yeah, our boy Game Knight, just for perspective, he uh, he has close to 2,000 subscribers now. And <laughs> he's posing before, because he did a video a while back making fun of... These no-name YouTubers somehow get monetized. Like, some, some random guy with, like, 5,000 subscribers will be monetized. And then they quit their day job and, and try to make videos full-time. And then they make no money. And Game Knight was like, look... You know, I'm making fifty dollars a month, and I have two thousand subs and whatever. So that's that's the thing. Like, what am I gonna make? Five bucks? I mean, <laughs> who cares? If, if I make it, I make it. If I don't make it, I don't make it. But some of these guys have such high expectations that they'll literally quit their day job because one of their videos got a lot of views. 
and that's that's not the norm like you're gonna you're gonna have I know my, my views I'll get like 30 to 50 views and that's a success for me if I get a hundred views 200 views you know great but I, I know what I get and I'm not I'm not quitting my day job to do YouTube videos okay I know better it's just it's just funny to see all that stuff go on Gaming, I have very fond memories of watching The Simpsons as a kid. Show was good up until season 15. Then aside from some episodes, the tree, Treehouse of Horror episodes were where it's at. Oh yeah, remember? Didn't they do the, the Death Note episode? I can't find it, Komaga. I just searched for Comic Book Hut. I couldn't find anything. I'll try it again. Can you post a link in the chat, maybe? It's just people making fun of them if you, if you search it. Oh. This isn't real, though. These are parody accounts. As a man in his 40s, when I tell my mom to make me chicky fingies, she <laughs> damn well better make them. What the hell? That's a parody of him. <laughs> That's not his account. Okay, I see it here. Heather... He did a video on Heather Antos. All right, let's see. What is this guy doing? Is he going to go against the SJWs again? Because that's run its course. Like, we know the SJWs are a disgrace and, you know, fuck them. Oh, he has 2,000 subscribers and three videos. So this must be a, a new... What's going on here? Yeah, okay. I found the channel, Komanga. He's done two videos now. This must be one of his, his alt channels. Because he likes to delete his videos. Because he has almost... He has 2,200 subscribers. And he did a video yesterday. It says Comics Gate, Ethan Van Skyver, and Cyber Frog Store. And then he just posted a video 24 minutes ago. Is Heather Antos to blame for IDW losing millions? Who the who cares about Heather Antos? Like, who cares? Oh my God. All right. Wow, what are you guys talking about now? Hold on, let me, let me scroll up again. I found it though, Komanga. Cyrus, I can't wait to get my first hate comment. It will probably happen if I talk positively about a Singa track. Gonna turn it into a t-shirt and hang it on my wall. And Justin, they did rip off the My Hero Academia art style super hard. Yeah, they, they sure did. I mean, I, I've got, I, I got their books in the past and I enjoyed them for what they are. But, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. They did the one parody before Common America called My Hero Magadamia, which is basically like a Trump parody. And it was an enjoyable read. But I'm, I'm not having these feuds with people anymore. Like, oh my god, EVS and this guy and that guy. Like, no. You know, I'm over it. Cyrus, you never know what the algorithm will do. Gaming My Hero Academia is awesome. Justin, I got a, a hate comment this week for my pusher review by a guy who claims to be my former drug dealer, lol. What? <laughs> oh my god, man. Yeah, some hate comments are pretty crazy, I will say. Dragon, with the cost of living going up, I'm surprised people can even afford to quit their job. You, you, you can't even imagine, man. Like, people... So many people come in to try and work at UPS and they don't even last a week and they quit. Because it's like, oh, I can't do it. I guess they can find better work elsewhere. Gaming the Death Note one was great. Got me interested in the actual show. The show was awesome. Really? You never watched Death Note before the Simpsons parody? I guess that's a good way to, to get into it, though. How do we get over there? Just, um, after going back and forth with him. Oh, shit. 
After going back and forth with him, he's asking about what other channels I have. Obviously, the guy was trolling. <laughs> wow. Cyrus, but then you see people like Asmin Gold or Penguin make a random video titled I Like Pizza, get millions of views, and it seems really easy. The truth is, they just got lucky. Yeah, Asmin Gold, check out his IRL channel, Zach Roar. And he did a video explaining that. And basically, he was a neat who had nothing going on, lived with his parents. He still is a neat, <laughs> although he has millions of dollars now. And he just started streaming. And that, I think, was when Twitch started getting popular. And, you know, he did World of Warcraft and just got famous. He, it's just lucky. Oh, God. Sarah, I watched a playthrough of Goodbye Volcano High. I went to watch it because I heard it was woke, but actually got drawn into the story and watched the whole thing. Oh, my God. I read the first part and, and heard Goodbye Volcano High. And I just remembered that game... It just has a really weird looking art style. It's like a furry game. But that's funny you said the story was good. <laughs> wow. Because I've memed on that in the, in the past. That's pretty funny that you like the story though. That's like a visual novel too, isn't it? Draken, there is a new Amazon factory opening here next month. They're looking for workers. I've seen nothing but horror stories about these factories on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I work in a factory, and there's no problems. I mean, it's just a regular job. Maybe it's worse at Amazon, though. Yeah, I'm not watching it either, Justin. I'm not watching comic book cut videos. Comic Skate is done sooner than later. I agree. I'm amazed people still watch it, though. And people still back these books. Like, why, bo why bother? Come on, you found it great. Cyrus, Amazon sucks to work at. <laughs> former drug dealer <laughs> to be a former drug dealer <laughs> Yeah, that's a crazy comment Yeah, UPS is good Draken. It, it's, a, it's a good place. They uh They treat me well. I've been there a pretty long time now Good benefits we just got a raise in August. I mean, there was going to be a strike for UPS, but luckily they they paid us, so good. So, paid vacation, which I have a, a week vacation coming up in October. Can't wait. So, it's always good to get paid to do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't do drugs either. I don't do drugs and I don't drink. <laughs> I'm straight edge. All right. So yeah. What am I doing for my vacation, Sarah? Nothing. I'm gonna sit and relax. Sit and relax. And today was actually a nice day because it, it rained all day. So I worked this morning, came home, took a little bit of a nap, then I had to go to the grocery store. So that was a bit of a pain in the ass because it was raining, but you know, you gotta do it, you gotta do. And that's really it. And then next week we have we have a a new like screen door coming in. What what do you, it's called like a storm door. It's a door that you can replace in the winter, make it glass, and then in the summer turn it into a screen. So we're getting a new one of them for the front door. And 
just some other housekeeping stuff going on. You know, boring stuff. <laughs> other rumors of Soul Eater getting a remake series true? Really? Komanga, CM Punk is straight edge. Yeah, CM Punk. He's kind of a weirdo, though. He had a meltdown. He got fired from AEW for causing a scene backstage. Like, come on, man. And they're saying he's going to go back to WWE. I don't believe that because he was fighting with Triple H near the end there. You think he's going to go back to, to WWE? No way. Draken, I'm not using any vacation time until the week of Halloween. Ooh. What day is Halloween this year? Let's see. It's on the Tuesday. That's normally a day I stream, so I gotta figure out, am I gonna stream that day? I don't know. <laughs> Cause we, my neighborhood, we have a lot of kids. So we have a lot of trick-or-treaters. And it's it's really disappointing in recent years, these kids don't dress up anymore. Like the, when I was a kid, we used to have all these crazy costumes and now they don't even dress up. They'll wear like a t-shirt or something, or, or like a, a one little dopey mask. It's like, dude, I used to get all these crazy costumes. I, I was, um, one year I was Freddy Krueger. I was like all the classic monster guys year after year. Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael Myers. I was a pimp one year. <laughs> I had this crazy outfit. I was literally a pimp for, uh, for Halloween one year. I was a greaser one year from the, that was when I was, um, in school, we actually had to read The Outsiders. You guys all probably read that, too. And that, that movie has Patrick Swayze and a few others in it. And I was a greaser one year. <laughs> with slick back hair and stuff. <laughs> that was fun. It was fun to do more practical costumes as opposed to just going to the Halloween store and getting a costume like that. Sarah, you should stream every day and binge through a game start to finish while you're off. Would, you, would any of you guys be interested in that? Maybe. Maybe. No promises. Gaming sounds like a fu like fun if you ask me. Love home projects. Well, I'm not doing anything. We we just bought the, the door. Someone else is going to put it on. So, <laughs> I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, manga, funny thing is, CM is supposed to be in Crystal Man. <laughs> yeah, pimp. I probably shouldn't even said that. <laughs> but yeah, I had, I had like a fur coat on. And like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just a, a stupid do-it-your-own costume I, I made one year. Maybe I'll see if I can find a picture of it and show you guys one day. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, I don't... Oh, I do have it. Okay. Yeah, AEW is run by a bunch of children. Sarah, I hate the whole trunk or treat thing. No community building anymore. Yeah, what do you go to? A parking lot with your cars? And the kids just go to them that way. So lame. These holidays have really degraded. Kompanga Kevin. Oh, Ghostface. Yeah, from Scream. I think I was him one year. Right, Dragon? Nobody dresses up anymore. Just a bunch of kids in bags. Yeah, they have really lame costumes or they don't dress up. Yeah, I dress as myself, Cyrus. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted a free candy. I remember too, like some kids. I never did this, but some kids would do this. They would um have the bowl sitting outside, and they would take the whole bowl. Like you don't do that shit. What do you what do you mean, man? I used to love Mischief Night though. Mischief Night was fun. The night before Halloween. 
We got <laughs> we got in trouble with that a number of times, but that's what being a kid's about, right? What about the SJW Scorpio? It's because SJW. Ghostface made an appearance in a recent episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. It was a good year if you got whole candy bars. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, crap. Did Ichiya die? Holy crap, what happened to my HP? What is going on here? Holy shit, get out of there. <laughs> what happened? Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I'm not paying attention here. Right. Sarah, I don't wear costumes for Halloween, but I cosplay for conventions. Oh yeah, you, you mentioned that before. What have you cosplayed as recently? Dracking the... These kids today are too busy spending all their parents' money on in-app purchases. Yeah, you're not kidding. Alright, so I don't think we're gonna finish all these quests tonight because we're almost at two, two and a half hours and I'm I'm getting I'm getting to low energy mode right now. But yeah, does anyone have any plans for tomorrow or just chilling? Because I already mentioned I'm just chilling, you know. Nothing crazy. I have a dentist appointment on Monday. Ugh. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Now, one thing I wanted to try, there, there was something, I think I can get a trophy by doing this. Let me just try it. It's L1? Yeah, this right here. Link Hunt. Alright, do that. What the hell is it? Oh yeah, we got a trophy. Massive melee. Alright, was well, this is a bad idea? They're just gonna holy shit. Alright. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I think this is a good way to grind. Hold on. Okay, let's do that. Holy shit! They're like 10 levels higher than me. Oh crap. Am I gonna be able to beat these guys? Alright, let's do that. That's like our strongest attack, isn't it? Come on, Urza! Kick some ass. Come on, we got this. We got this. All right, what's your powerful attack? Can I, no, I can't awaken. How do awakenings even work in this game? I feel like it's random. All right, if this works out correctly, this should um, get me a lot of experience. Oh, don't die! Come on, guys! No! Awaken! Come on, Kagura, save the day. Alright, should we heal Natsu? Come on, finish him. Natsu can just stay dead. <laughs> Whatever. 
Because I think they still get experience even if, even if they're dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. Alright, fin finish him off, Lucy. <laughs> with this attack. <laughs> Uh, you dressed as a shy guy and stole us from Hello a Boss? Sweet, that's awesome. Your sister's birthday is tomorrow, Scorpio. There you go. Happy, happy birthday. Uh, yuck, dentist appointment. My plan, Justin, my plan is to work and try to have a video up for tomorrow and Monday. Cool. Yeah, you said you have the book review coming. Alright, come on, Urza. Can you finish it off? Finish him off! Oh, what do we do? Target him. Dragon, not much watching Helsing. Nice. Regular Helsing or Helsing Ultimate? To get into Halloween season mood. Sarah, I'm working tomorrow. Justin, still haven't figured out what anime I'm going to watch for October. They have no good horror anime on Tubi or BitChute. Hmm. Helsing? Because <laughs> I just mentioned that a second ago. But you've probably seen that already. What else is there? What's this? The Exceed Special? What is this? Oh my god, look how cute they all are. Oh, that healed us? Oh, we gotta heal Natsu now. Alright, finish him off, Urza. That was stressful to watch, what, this battle? I know, this, I almost died here. Komanga Bikini Party. Gaming, you haven't seen Helsing yet? How is it? Helsing is awesome, man. I did a review of it last year for Halloween. On Halloween, I think that's when I uploaded it. It's great. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, regular Helsing. Wow, how much experience did we get? What, just one level? That's it? Alright, well we got the trophy, right? A lot of items. Okay, yeah, that, that's the way to farm items in this game. I get it. Uh, and what was the trophy we got? Oh, by the way, this was the trophy we got uh, on Thursday. Right, some of the Celestial Spirit King. I guess these are the reigning story trophies. Link Hunt. Yeah, look at all those guys. So we're 40% of the way. Right. Yeah, we gotta fight two more of these guys, then we'll end it, because uh, it's getting late. It's getting late. Yeah, JoJo Season 1 and 2 is good for October. Yes. Yeah, Season 1, there's vampires and shit. <laughs> Yeah, the X Seed special, that was pretty cool right there. Alright. Oh, I missed. Bungo Stray Dogs, that, that's B BSD, right? Has vampires in it. There you go. Yeah, Justin, didn't you say you're going to review D Gray Man at some point, too? Isn't that kind of Halloween feeling? Gothic horror. Alright, we cleared that. Let's go back. Return to the guild. And that's that. 
All right, so we're two and a half hours. There's a ton of these things to do. So the next stream, which will be on Tuesday. Actually, no, I'm going to stream tomorrow, but we're not going to stream Fairy Tale. Uh, tomorrow night, we're going to stream again, and we're going to go through the trailers from Tokyo Game Show, particularly Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Tales of Rise and other stuff like that. And we'll, just, we'll talk to you guys in the chat and all that. Uh, but then on Tuesday, we're going to continue Fairy Tale. And we're going to do these requests. What do we have? Six more. And I think there's also some, some quests out here. Yeah. Now, I think with the with the bonds... Let's see. How does this even work? So we have max... I think you can increase them again by doing this. Like, you, you can keep increasing them. Right? Let's see. And this, like, increase... So you can increase the bonds by having them in, in your party, but you can also increase them by just spending money and doing this. I think. Yeah, bonds went up, right? So let's see. I don't know. It doesn't look like it worked. Maybe you have to, like, watch the scene and then, then it works. Who the hell knows? Alright, anyway, let's save. Oh yeah, Joel! We should add him to the party, right? Oh, how, what would we do? Yeah, let's do that. Can we? Yeah, let's add Joel! Add him to the party. What are his moves? Oh, he's got a shit ton. Okay. Alright, let's save. <laughs> Cyrus is Urza the strongest character in the game. She's nuts. I don't know. Let's see who's like got the strongest stats. All right, you can see, you can see to the right there the attack and all that. So yeah, Lucy's kind of weak, but you gotta have her in the party because she's Lucy, man. All right, three fifty nine, three sixty seven. So not too stronger than Urza, just slightly. Wow, Juvia is pretty strong. And Kagra and, and Jalal are the same attack. And they're the next strongest right behind Urza. Interesting. Interesting! Alright. Let's see. Oh, you have season one of the D. Great Man, Justin? I have some of the manga. I, I was going to review one, one of the volumes of the manga for Halloween month, but I don't even know anymore because I've sort of just gone into to this mode of just doing streams. And what I did last week was I, I clipped some stuff from my streams, the, the Tales of Arise and Final Fantasy VII trailers, and just made them into videos. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that in the future. I don't know anymore. But I do know I do have a haul video next week. So watch that. <laughs> Cyrus, I remember reading D. Gray Man and Shonen Jump back in the day. I think I still have a few lying around somewhere. It's still ongoing, Cyrus. It's, um... The mangaka has Carpal Tunnel somewhere... Well, no, I don't, I don't think it's similar to Togashi from, from Hunter Hunter, but... You know, he has a... Some kind of health issue, too. But... D. Gray Man still releases every three months. I, I think a new chapter comes out every three months. It's one of the first manga I ever owned, D. Gray Man Volume 1. Cool. Alright. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out tonight. It's always a pleasure talking to everybody. Um, like I said, I'll be streaming again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and we're gonna we're gonna go through uh, the trailers, gameplay footage. Let me just see real quick what what they have because the Final Fantasy Rebirth one. There's like 30 minutes of gameplay footage.
And it's crazy how how that game almost had radio silence for a while, and then they released the trailer, and then now there's all this footage out. Crazy. Yeah, there's like 45 minutes of gameplay footage, and then there's the hour and 15 minute thing from Tokyo Game Show with um, the developers. So yeah, I'll, I'll come prepare and I'll have a bunch of, of tabs and stuff. And we'll, we'll stay tuned for that. And yeah, this was a fun live stream. We were, we were all over the place, but I appreciate you guys for hanging out. Uh, we're, we're almost done with this game. Again, Tuesday we're going to do the quests, and then... Maybe, maybe we'll beat the game next Saturday. I don't know. I don't even know <laughs> how much longer there is, but I'll try. But yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good rest of the night. Have a good weekend, and well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys stop by tomorrow. So have a good night, and we'll talk to you then. Peace out.